What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Um, we just got the new guitars in. I'm going to show you the old ones for comparison first. This is the old, the first white prototype. Um, what I want you to take notice of, there's no toggle plate here. And we tested out, or obviously, you know, whether black knob, which looks good, or gold knobs, which looks good. Like, there's a lot of options here. Um, this is the one with the old neck. This is the access heel. And we asked them on the prototyping to change this to the modern heel. So again, comparison to just look. I need to pick two. We've got black classic knob, gold classic knobs, um, no toggle plate. This is still from the first round of prototypes. This is the one where we tried out the knurled knobs. This is something we definitely need to decide on. I think they're pretty slick. This is also no toggle switch at all. Um, this is the old neck. But this is the new headstock. This is not the locking grovers. And this is not my Fishman's. But do pay attention to these knobs. These knobs are pretty cool. And this is with no toggle switch cover, which actually looks pretty cool. So luckily, the playing is so damn good that the cosmetics are almost like, that's all we've been focusing on. Um, this is the one with the spiky thing, too. Just got the new ones in yesterday. They were just created and sent to me. They play incredibly. I've not played them through an amp yet. Check this out. Okay, so this is the golden white. Um, this is a different kind of knob. This is like a classic knurled. So it's the same size as the classic, except it's knurled, meaning when you pull, push and pull, because these are three voice, they're not going to fly out. They definitely look different. This is really cool. It's gold and gold engraved rhythm treble, but do we like it better without those? So make sure you drop me a comment after you like and subscribe, YouTube. You too, but tell me seriously which knobs you prefer, which toggle things you prefer. But these are my signature Fishmans. Um, the neck is correct this time. The neck is the modern prophecy neck, which apparently is more ergonomic. So those are the classic knurled knobs. They look a little big to me, but they're also rad. Uh, these are the locking Grover machine heads, which are freaking sick. It means you just have to put a little bit of slack and you can cut it. The new headstock. Uh, the neck is the thinnest neck I've ever felt on a Les Paul ever, and this is the lightest Les Paul I've ever felt ever. I'm still going to use a double strap with it because I still feel like it, but it's the lightest Les Paul I've ever felt. And here's the black one. This is the black classic knurled knobs, which they're, they're really weird, but they're really cool too. Um, that's with the toggle cover, rhythm treble. This is the new headstock, the locking machine heads. Oh, yeah, it comes with a signed MKH. Also, it comes with a hard shell case that is signed, too, which is freaking awesome. That does not drive the price up crazily because Epiphone somehow are magicians. Uh, this is the modern access heel. Uh, sorry, not the modern access heel. This is the modern modern heel. It's, it's supposedly better than the access. Um, the spiky guys, MKH, classic. Are you ready to hear what my pickups sound like? I'm muting my voice because I'm, I'm very excited to hear this. I think this is the first time we've ever played my pickups ever. Thank you. 
Sounds good. We should probably play a couple songs, right? 